नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ एपिसोड ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज डी के हल इन द लास्ट एपिसोड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड द स्टेप्स टू बी टेकन टूअर्ड्स डबलिंग ऑफ फार्म इनकम एंड ऑल्सो टू इंक्रीज इट मेनी फोर्ट इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल डिस्कस वेज एंड मीन्स टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन एंड ईल ऑफ पोटैटोज विदाउट एनी इंक्रीज इन कॉस्ट एंड ऑल्सो अवर रियल फील्ड एक्सपीरियंस potatoes have the distinction of being the only food found throughout the world equally popular across races and food habits of people potato is originally a native of south american continent where it used to grow as a wild plant from about 7 to 9000 years ago and in india it is cultivated for the last more than 300 years in india potato is cultivated in almost all indian states but more than 80% production comes from uttar pradesh west bengal punjab bihar and gujarat the average yield of potatoes ranges between 8 to 12 tons per acre while in gujarat it is as high as 21.56 tons per acre apart from being used as food potatoes have industrial relevance too they are used for the production of starch dextrin glucose and alcohol potato starch that is farina is used in laundries and for sizing of yarns in textile mills there are certain interesting facts about potatoes most of us are aware about climate change and its likely impact on agriculture alberto salas an agronomist is often referred to as the potato godfather he has very interesting and optimistic thoughts he believes and is also adamant that potatoes with wide adaptability will not only survive climate change but will help us to survive it as well he says potatoes will be able to feed the world when nothing else can see how important is potato crop potatoes being so important we need to make all possible efforts to increase its yield without any increase in cost on a sustainable basis let us try to understand the crop recommended versus actual practices adopted and possible strategies to at least double its production as an agripreneur one might be aware that the ideal soil ph for producing potatoes is between 5 and 6 in high ph soils potatoes will survive overgrowth but yield and profits will be low due to poor soil conditions potatoes are heavy feeder require more water and are infected by a number of diseases therefore special practices on these aspects need to be understood and adopted based on research reports the recommended doses of nutrients for potato crop varies widely for example recommendations are 120 to 240 kg nitrogen 60 to 150 kg phosphate and 50 to 130 kg potash per hectare that is 2.5 acres for better understanding let us discuss in terms of dap urea and mirud of potash recommended to be applied per acre we expect you to kindly compare the quantity actually used with the recommended one in case of alluvial soils it is recommended to apply 1 to 1.5 bags of dap up to 3.75 bags of urea and 1 to 1.75 bag of mirud of potash here it is important to put a note that when we say bag it refers to 50 kg and in case of potatoes ammonium sulfate and ammonium nitrate are preferred over urea in addition it is recommended to apply compost and also neem cake in the soil in case of black cotton soil it is recommended to apply one bag dap up to 2.5 bags of urea and maximum of 33 kg that is 0.66 bags of mirud of potash in case of hill soils it is recommended to apply up to 2 bags of dap 2.5 bags of urea and a maximum of 33 kg of mirud of potash per acre in the soil the last category that is acidic soils it is recommended to apply 2 bags of dap 65 kg of urea and 1.6 bags of potash per acre you must have compared between the recommended doses and the fertilizers actually applied per acre is it true that the fertilizer used are on a higher side 
Similar to fertilizers, irrigation to potato crops depend upon soil type and climatic conditions, and a total of five to six irrigations are recommended. This includes pre-sowing, five to seven days after sowing, and at three critical stages, namely stolonization, tuberization, and tuber development. Tuber development starts after six weeks and continues till two weeks before harvesting. But under practical conditions, six to eight or even more irrigations and that too through furrow method is applied. Is this correct? Potato crop is affected by diseases such as bacterial wilt, septoria leaf spot, late blight, early blight, common scab, black scurf, stem canker, and that are either soil borne, seed or tuber borne, or spread via infected plant debris. Apart from certain soil and climatic factors, which might be beyond our control, high soil moisture due to excessive irrigation or even rainfall favors the disease to a great extent. Do you agree? For efficient water management or higher water use efficiency, drip system saves almost 50% water and ensures highest productivity. In areas where soil is light, surface undulating and frost is a common problem, a sprinkler system ensures over 40% increase in water use efficiency and reduces frost damage to potatoes. Adoption of improved methods of irrigation can help to minimize the disease incidence by up to 50%. As regards nutrient management, getting the soil tested and following suggestions would be the best. Episode 4 of this video series may also help to ensure the best use of the soil test reports. In absence of any soil test report, one can bring down the application of urea, DAP, and potash up to the maximum number of bags recommended per acre in the respective types of soil. If the application of fertilizers have increased over the years, it is only due to declining soil health and lower fertilizer use efficiency. To overcome the challenges, apply biostimulant that is humic acid, biofertilizer that is microbial consortium of NPK and biopesticide trichoderm. Based on our actual field experience, these technology inputs have been found to increase the water and nutrient supply potential of soils, provide a strong protection against diseases, and improve the size and quality of tubers and almost double the potato yield. Let us see what farmers in Uttar Pradesh have actually experienced after using bio NPK and trichoderma to their potato crops. रासायनिक खाद का प्रयोग किया गया था लगभग सूख चुकी है इसके पौध भी बड़े छोटे छोटे हैं अगर आप देखेंगे तो मुश्किल से डेढ़ फीट की है जो आपको मैंने दवा दी थी डॉक्टर साहब दिल्ली से आए थे गोबर में मिश्रित करके हाँ खेत में पूरे में जुताई के लास्ट जुताई पे हमने फैलवा दिया था पूरे में क्या जो पौधा है पहले से मोटा लग रहा है फसल अभी इसमें यूरिया तो पड़ी नहीं है रोग भी अभी तक कोई नहीं आया है अभी तक हमने इसमें यूरिया भी नहीं लगाया बिना गुमटी की तरह हाँ। पौधा हमारा तैयार हो रहा है अच्छा अच्छा जड़ तना इसका जो है वो भी मोटा है पत्ते है वो भी बड़े बड़े है जिसमे ट्राइकोडर्मा इस्तेमाल किया गया था और इसकी ग्रोथ बहुत अच्छी है ऊंचाई है डेढ़ मीटर के लगभग है अगर आप इसको देखेंगे तो इसमें कोई रोग नहीं है तने भी काफी मजबूत हैं तो ये अंतर दिख रहा है जहां पर हमने ट्राइकोडर्मा और सॉइल न्यूट्रिएंट अप्लाई किया था और जहां पर उसका इस्तेमाल नहीं किया साइज ये निकला है और पैदावार भी अच्छी है डेमो का रिजल्ट पर साल से लगभग दूना है मान के चलिए आलू का साइज बहुत अच्छा है कोई रोग दोग नहीं बिल्कुल It is strongly suggested to promote good quality products only. Apply 1 liter each of humic acid and NPK plus 1.5 to 2 kg of trichoderma per acre. All the three products are to be applied in soil either at the time of final land preparation or immediately before sowing of tubers. Humic acid can also be used 
through drip irrigation system. Also follow the suggestions mentioned on the product level. Thanks, like the video and subscribe the channel. Share with friends and give your feedback so that we can include new topics for further discussions.